my cue to go. Oh, now we're on cue. <laughs> Dang, I'm a fucking thespian over here. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Welcome to Two Finger Pour. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Diego. We got on our Sunday best for you guys today to bring you guys some brunch cocktails. We have created four really easy, unique cocktails to make at home. Just a reminder, if you love our videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down over there. And also, please give this video a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Ready to brunch it out? <laughs> yeah, let's brunch it out. <laughs> Grab your shots. You agree. Yeah. Our first cocktail, we have what is called the Streets of Bergamot. It's made with an Italian spirit called Italicus. Um, this is made from bergamot oranges. We're gonna start with 1.5 ounces of the Italicus. And then we're gonna do 0.5 Bombay Sapphire. You can use any London dry gin though. We chose Bombay Sapphire though. 0.75 fresh lemon juice. 0.5 Monin lavender syrup. And then it's gonna be two dashes of black lemon bitters. And then we're gonna top it with soda water. Give that a kick up. You know, just get a blast of soda water in your face. Garnish with Luxardo cherries. All right, guys, here we go. Super, super good cocktail, especially for brunch. It's very light, it's amazing, actually. Um, so if you guys are doing brunch anytime soon, definitely try this cocktail out. Next cocktail up, definitely a fan favorite. Strawberries and champagne, who doesn't love that? This one's called the Strawberry Bliss. We're gonna start this off with Tito's at 1.5 ounces. And then we're using Strawberry Liquid Alchemist. If you're not familiar with Strawberry Liquid Alchemist, this is one of the best, best, best puree syrups you can buy on the market. It's just made with strawberries and cane sugar. It has a decent shelf life too. Grab it on Amazon. But we're gonna do one ounce of that. And then your fresh lemon juice at 0.5 ounces. And we chose, even though we are topping this with champagne, to strain that in a coupe or martini glass up. And then you're gonna grab your champagne. We do recommend a brute champagne. And just give that a tiny little float on top. And for garnish, is going to be a rose that's dusted with gold. I already know this is damn good. It's damn good. Strawberries, Tito's, champagne. I don't need to tell you about this one. You already know it tastes great. Our third brunch cocktail we have for you guys is called a pear of apples. It's gonna be with Grey Goose's pear vodka. It's called a La Pore. It's gonna be 1.5 ounces of that. One ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. It's 
It's gonna be 0.75 of Apple Riel. You can find this on Amazon. Green apple. And then we have 0.5 house-made simple syrup. If you guys don't know how to make simple syrup, we did post a video how to make it a couple days ago, so you can check that video out as well. Shake. And then again, we're gonna to be topping with champagne. We did use a brute, so we do recommend the brute champagne. And garnished with a dehydrated pear chip. Really, really like this, guys. It's crispy all the way around. You got the crisp pear, crisp green apples, and then to finish it off with those crisp bubbles, honestly, amazing brunch cocktail, guys. Cheers. Our final cocktail we have for our brunch cocktails is going to be the Honeysuckle. This one does have a pretty long list of ingredients, but it's well worth the effort. We're going to start with the Kettle One Botanical Peach and Orange Blossom. If you're not familiar with the Kettle Botanical line, you should really check out all the flavors. So that's at 1.5. And then we're going to get Le Le Blanc at 0.75 ounces. And then your St. Germain at 75 ounces. White grape juice at one ounce. 0.25 of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And 0.25 of house simple syrup. And we are garnishing that with a dehydrated orange, but you can garnish this with a bunch of different things to make it pretty. Move that giant chip. Oh, this one is so amazing. It's really, really approachable. And that white grapefruit, or grape juice, grapefruit, not grapefruit, grape juice, really, really comes out in this and it complements the elderflower liqueur and that botanical. So give this one a shot again. Long list of ingredients, well worth the effort. Well, there you have it, guys. Four easy to make brunch cocktails with everything going on with COVID and everything. It's a perfect time to have a brunch cocktail session at your house and try to give these cocktails a try. Just a reminder, we are on social media, so don't forget to follow us. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Two Finger Pour. All one word. So please, it's also a good outlet to reach out directly to us. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to write you back. Absolutely. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there in the corner. Please don't forget. And if you love this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And if you did choose to dislike this video, please let us know why in the comment section down below. And we will get back to you. Cheers to our brunch. Cheers to brunch. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Did you slam that down like you're gonna shoot it? I slam, yeah. This is brunch, man. You know, it's like, I don't know, but I'm always like. Ah, brunch, man! <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb.